What is going on guys? Welcome back to another video. My name is Ron and this is MotorTube and well Here is my red eye. You guys probably already know that I took delivery of my red eye a few days ago I do apologize for the lack of videos just because for the past two days It's been raining every time I take the car out It starts raining so I've just been unsuccessful at doing that so today I woke up really early before the storm comes because it's about to rain all day again so I woke up super early and now I'm here to make a video with the car and today's video is gonna be a review and I'm gonna talk to you guys why I got the options that I got and just show you guys all the options that I got in my red eye so I hope you guys are ready for an awesome video so here is my 2019 Challenger Hellcat red eye and if you guys don't know the difference between a regular Hellcat and a red eye well the regular Hellcat comes with about 7, uh, 17 I believe now. It used to be 707, but I believe they bumped it up to 717. Well, the Red Eye comes with 797. I'll make a whole separate video, but it's basically a detuned demon, literally. So, I'll, you know, I'll get into details on another video about that topic because that's a whole nother video so basically i got the color green because obviously i love green and i've always had a green hellcat and there's just no point to get any other color i just had to keep it going with the green so after i picked the color i ordered it with a black hood black roof and a black trunk but afterwards i ended up taking it off because i heard they were gonna paint it and it was going to take an extra three weeks to get done and plus i didn't want my car to be painted so uh, I just left it green and I have a few ideas of what to do. Um, my last one had stripes. Uh, I'm not sure what I'm going to do to this one yet, but just stay tuned. So we also have 305s all around on these super, super wide wheels. I mean, just look at that. You also got the six piston Brembo brakes in red. I got them in a red finish. Um, there was orange and there was also black. Also, if you guys don't notice is the hellcat symbol has a red eye let me let me focus on that and zoom in so as we move to the back we got the black gas cap and this new spoiler that they started offering which i actually like it it's a bit weird it goes like this and then down here and then it doesn't have the srt symbol here anymore where the other one used to be over here and used to have the srt symbol and this is kind of what it looks like from the back. It looks a bit odd at first, but I like it, honestly. It's something different, and I already had the other spoilers, so might as well try a different one. And then you have your exhaust dips. They're actually finished in, like, a gloss black. Let me show you guys. But I'm definitely going to modify the exhaust tips. I don't like them. You can't really see them. They're blacked out and they're just tucked under the car so you barely really see them. But uh, we'll take care of that and I have a good idea for what I'm going to do to that. And also another thing, a lot of people were surprised I got the wide body. I did say on camera months back when I was going to order the Hellcat that I didn't really like the wide body. I think they look extra fat and it just looks beefier than it should and all that and I didn't like it, right? But it kind of grew on me. And besides the fact that it grew on me, I already had the regular Hellcat. So I just was like, let me just go for it. So I could just try something new and I'm actually surprised that I actually love it. I love how wide it looks and it looks just so like just crazy. I mean, it just, it's like you could just spot it right away as soon as you see it on the road and you're just like, what is that? Like, why is it so wide? And it's just like so hard to park and it's just absolutely amazing and I absolutely love it. I'm so glad I did get the wide body. So now let's check out the interior. So I did get the Alcantara package, which means you can't get anything besides these seats. I wanted red seats, but I couldn't because I got the Alcantara package. What this means is I got Alcantara all over here. The steering wheel is Alcantara like the Demon. I really wanted this. This was 
uh, my favorite option on this car that I must have. And also, I got the Laguna leather. As you can see, my favorite leather. It smells so good with the suede inserts all right here. Which is a good thing because it's not going to wrinkle where you're sitting or anything like that. The leather smells absolutely amazing. I'm going to show you guys the tag. It's right here. Let me, let me show you guys. So here it is. I love this leather. It is amazing. It smells so good. And another thing is uh, we got the dash here. Let's get in here. So we got 220 on the dash so let me turn the car on real quick you got the red eye right here and then let me show you guys the entertainment system so you got radio media let me zoom in for you guys so you got radio media climate apps control nav and phone so here you got srt launch all the other good stuff launch doesn't work until you hit 500 miles so uh, let me show you guys a few things here so you go to apps you go to srt mode and then here you got your custom um 797 or eco mine is on eco right now you can play with trans paddle traction suspension steering um let's see what else another thing the race options it has the launch control shift light race cool down line lock um has so many cool options the actually let's go back the race cooldown is just like the demon as again i'll get into that in another video um valet mode eco mode custom sport track has so many cool options you have y spot hot spot driver vent i mean heated steering wheel um performance pages let me show you guys that all right come on takes a little to load up So here you got your 0 to 60, 0 to 100, eighth mile, quarter mile, everything, has everything. The gauges, your engine, here shows you your horsepower, torque, here's your dyno every time you hit your foot on the gas, like, you see how it went up a little bit, so it does that. You got home, you could change these here to whatever you really want, you could take a picture of it if you have a SIM card, it'll save that picture for you so if you want to post it or show other people and uh yeah that's pretty much the entertainment system here's the heated steering wheel heated and vented seats so has all the cool options here so now that i've showed you guys the exterior the interior the entertainment system now let's check out what's under the hood so now let's check what's under the hood we have the hellcat red eye somewhere right here so this is a so this is basically a demon block, a demon blower, and you have a demon intake. It goes straight to that. You have the green belt. So like I said, I'll make a whole nother video comparing this to the demon, but this is pretty much what's under the hood. 797 horsepower is under the hood from factory, all right here. So now it's time to go out for a drive and have a little talk. So let's put these red seat belts on. So I had to get the red seat belts option, which was a perfect option. I'm glad he has them on. He usually never wears a seat belt, but since they're red, he decided to put them on today. So um, let's talk about this. Also, I did get a sunroof. Um, I basically ran through every option for you guys. Um, oh, one thing I forgot to show you guys is my sticker so the sticker for this car was 95,000 um i'm gonna get in a whole nother video about that um where i break down how much the car is how much i pay for it and all that but i just kind of wanted to do a little review on the car and kind of tell you guys what is going on with the build so obviously this is gonna be a super epic build you guys know how i am i'm really at the end of the day a true mopar fan and you know if I had to choose, Mopar would probably be my favorite brand out there. I do love everything else, but Mopar has my heart. And everyone has that brand that just, you know, has their heart and they just absolutely love it. So basically what's going to happen is I'm at 323 miles. Um, I'm going to break the car in about 500 miles, get an oil change, 
then I can get on it and kind of show you guys what this car is capable of. And after it hits a thousand, it will get modified. The car it's gonna get done all at once, so I'm not gonna put maybe a pulley one day, maybe you know this one day. No, I'm doing it all at once, and it'll be all the way ready all at once. Um, there is other modifications that aren't really like. Um, how do I say, you know, performance modifications that I will be doing, that will be all separate, but when it comes to what's happening under the hood, that's all happening at once, and uh, I'm obviously going to dyno the car before, and then after to show you guys the difference, and just to show you guys what this thing does stock on the dyno, um, this is going to be an epic build, guys, like, this is going to be way bigger, way faster, way nicer than my last Hellcat. And it's such an awesome platform to do it in. I love this platform more than the regular Hellcats just because Demon Block, bigger blower. So, you know, we're gonna obviously go a lot faster than we did with the Hellcat. And if you guys watched my videos, uh, my last Hellcat went mid nines. This thing is gonna go way faster than that. So with that being said, I wanna keep it short. I don't wanna keep dragging this video on. Just stay tuned for the build. Um, it's been raining, so it's been hard to make videos with this car but I'm ordering everything right now as we speak and I already wrote a long list of the mods and uh, we're gonna get going with this. It's gonna be an epic, epic, epic build. I'm so excited, you guys have no idea. I haven't been this happy on this channel since I had my Hellcat and now I'm back to feeling like myself and Paul, you excited about this? Yeah. He doesn't look that excited because he's super tired. He usually doesn't wake up, up this early, and I made him wake no, up no, for this I wake video. Up. I, wake I don't wake up this early. I woke you up today. Twelve? No, you didn't. Yes, I did. No, you didn't. You woke me up today. Yeah. Just think about that. Does that sound real? No, you did not wake. When did you wake me up today? Today I was like, well, Ron, listen, bro, you need to get a video done, bro. You've been you've been slacking because of the weather, but it's time Shut to get a video up. done. Now you that we did got, not. We wait. Got a couple hours before it starts raining. So let's Shut get a up. Done. He was literally knocked out on the couch, and then who woke you up? And when I woke you up, what did you say? He goes, "You're gonna carry me to the car." Is it because lying? Yeah, you didn't stop I'm lying on YouTube. Lying. Taking the car for prom this year. Yeah, he's over here, so again, he's just living in his own imagination. We are almost at 100,000 subscribers. With that being said, I will be doing a giveaway for 100,000 subscribers. I'm thinking like giving away an Xbox, a PS4, something, you know, you guys can have fun, you know, with and enjoy. You know, you know, maybe throw in a few games with it. So let me know in the comments below what should the giveaway be. But most likely, it will be either an Xbox One or a PS4 and a few video games. Just to show my appreciation to you guys, I have no idea how I'm going to go about doing this because I don't know how I'm going to keep up with who has subscribed and who is entering the giveaway. So um, I'll figure it out. I'll talk to my guy who runs my website. And we're gonna try to figure out a way where we could do this fairly and pick a winner. But with that being said, I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace out.